So it looks like it's all the way from Lebanon to the Fair Trade Show. Uh, what's your name? My name is Ziad Bejani. And your company is? Fair Trade Lebanon. Wow. So obviously you brought some unique uh, food products that you want to have represented in Canada soon, I, I yes. presume. Yeah. Yes. Now tell me, what kind of products do you have here? We have uh, Orange Blossom, we have Rose Water, we have many brands of olive oil, version, extra version and organic. We have our red and white wine. And and our local Lebanese Ara. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some uh, grape fair shoes, baba ghanoush and hummus, and uh, roast petal jam, fig jam, and the cedar honey. Wow. In addition to the bitter uh, peel inside. That looks very unique. So let's get a more detailed understanding of it. Let's talk about the rose water. Tell me about the rose water. The rose water is uh, a distillated uh, petal water, which uh, gives this is uh, used in uh, many of uh, Lebanese recipes, uh, particularly the sweet uh, recipes. Uh, also, we can use it uh, to clean the, the skin for the babies or the ladies. Wow. Or uh, to evaporate in the house to change the the uh, smell of uh, the house. Interesting. The same thing for the orange blossom water, uh, which is a natural product uh, made uh, with the blossom water, distillated as well, and uh, it's used also in the uh, Lebanese sweet uh, recipes, uh, as well as uh, to many other. Uh, recipes uh, in Lebanese food. Great, okay. Uh, we have also some uh, samples of uh, the olive uh, we are uh, making in, Le in the south, from the south of Lebanon. Olive so oil? Almost all of them are from the south. And what makes that particular olive oil different from the many other brands of olive oil uh, in the world? So, uh, it is particular because you have uh, many brands uh, such as extra version and version and organic uh, and you know it is the acidity which uh, determine uh, what kind of uh, olive oil it is. Also I can tell you about our uh, uh, red and uh, white wine, Coteau de Serre, which grapes grow uh, on in the Bica Valley at about uh, 1,300 meters from the sea level. Uh, and uh, it is made from this uh, organic grapes we have uh, from there. Uh, also, you can see our uh, Arak uh, local alcohol, uh, traditional alcohol is the Arak in Lebanon. Uh, this one is a premium Arak because it is distillated three times. It is uh, an extra flavor and it is made from organic grapes and organic anise. I see, okay. Here you have uh, some uh, uh, Green, green grape uh, vinegar, vinegar green. which was made from um, in the past by our uh, grand grandmother to uh, arrange the mixture of the salad when they have no lemon juice. Green grape vinegar, I've yes. never heard of that. Yes, it's true. Wow. Uh, what would you use it on? Just for, on for, to, for the salad, salad as a vinegar uh, to. Okay. Uh, With the olive oil, I guess. Also, here you have the baba ghanoush, which is, uh, to my pleasure, very well known in uh, Canada. And uh, they love the taste, uh, all the people taste it. Uh, they love the naturally taste uh, in it. So what's unique about that particular type of baba ghanoush than the other ones that we see in the market? Uh, this is 100% natural, without any additives, without any preservatives. Uh, and also you can see that it is in a glass jar, not in a tin box. We are not going to tell the, I mean, uh, bad uh, result when we put in, uh, in uh, iron uh, canned uh, okay. tin. The same thing is for this uh, hummus, uh, loved also by the Canadian people. 
uh, also made the, the, the same way, traditional and ethical and uh, all natural. But I'm sure it tastes a little different, right? Because it's from Lebanon. Uh, yes, it is yeah. true. Good. Uh, definitely, it is like homemade uh, compared to the other. I mean, uh, there is no. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, we have here the fig jam. Excellent. This is it is uh, big jam. Yes, big jam. I've never seen that in a long time. It's true. Uh, it's uh, uh, rarely seen in the market. It is coming back with Terroir du Liban, which is our market in Lebanon. Uh, it is very tasty and without, of course, any, any preservatives. Okay, and there we have it there. Okay, good. Yes, it's true. Now, now cedar honey. Yes, cedar honey. It is um, our added value, uh, one of our added value, because the cedar honey doesn't crystallize all year long. Because the cedar uh, honey, uh, the bees go and eat the small uh, plant lice on the on the cedar uh, needle. So that's why the the honey remains fluid all year long, and it is very tasty. Good. And uh, I, uh, according to what I heard, uh, it is uh, not common in uh, Canada at all. Nobody know about cedar honey. I didn't know. Uh, last uh, product uh, we have here. It is the bitter orange peel. Bitter orange peel. Yes. That's what you have here. Yes. Bitter orange peels. It is uh, very bitter peels yes. from a bitter orange. Yes. From what the Lebanese village. Is that a traditional the uh, food? The, uh, our mountain. And uh, they peel the orange. They work it and uh, they uh, cook it with its syrup. All right. Uh, so uh, it has this uh, small bitterness uh, taste. Uh, really. And what do you pair it with? What would you uh, pair it with? We can eat it with uh, some uh, the white cheese, uh, with fish, uh, uh, plenty of uh, receipts which we can find on our website to give you some ideas. Great. But again, this is all new to Canada. You came all the way from Lebanon to come to the Fair Trade Show. It is a pleasure. To uh, let people know that there is a Fair Trade Lebanon, obviously. Indeed. And hopefully to get some representation in Canada. Yeah. Right. I'm going to try some of these after this interview. This looks really interesting. For more information, your website, it would be? Uh, www.fairtradelebanon.org. Thank you so much. And your name again is? Ziad Bishan. How do you say thank you in uh, Lebanese? Shukran. Shukran. Thanks to you.